working on. But it is because I'm tall and I always have the models reach over. So this really has, I feel like it makes a difference. What do you feel like? Oh, yeah, definitely. So much more comfortable, definitely, right? Yes. So it's less strain on my shoulders. Because you guys already know I have the worst posture in the world. I am like Quasimodo. I don't know. Maybe your posture, I feel like, is better. Like when I see you do my nails. Really? I'm like, like this yeah, all the time. I don't feel like you're, I don't feel like he's very slouched, guys. I am super slouched. You have way better posture than me. Like. No, trust, <laughs> I don't. Nicole's not like Mr. Burns. <laughs> oh, goodness. What? Like Quasimodo, you said right now? Quasimodo. Yeah. And Sonia said, Kawhi cute. She's living for it. Hi. Gotta push, push, push. Press, it, press, press. Has it not been alerting you, Antonia, when he goes on Insta? Just because I feel like. I don't know, she would have liked like, Instagram yeah, today? Yeah, today. Oh, we did take the closet on Instagram today. Yeah. This girl, she was like, I don't like the design. And then she was using our cup. She was like, well, it's because I'm from Europe. And I'm like, we sweetie. Like I'm like, yeah, I'm like, girl, you better check yourself because she was wrecking herself. She was she was messy. I was like, we sell so much in Europe. What is she talking about? Don't use where you're from as a cop out because that is a horrible cop out. And the pink army came for her. So now let's go in with the diamond prep and remove the shine off the natural nail and begin to remove all that crusty. Natalia said, it's nighttime. It's nighttime there in Quebec. Yes. Madalena said hello from the Netherlands. Hi from the Netherlands. Jasmine Malone said hi. Hi. Uh, Christian Lindbergh from all the years of doing nails, my back is the same way. This new thing that I'm working on is going to make a huge difference. Game changer, guys. Game changer. And Tony said, and Max does not look like Quasimodo. I know this. I know this. My posture does. <laughs> Katrina Link said I've missed a couple, so now I stop. <laughs> and don't forget, you guys, if we reach 100 views, we're only 40 views away from the giveaway to release the Kraken. Jackie Rusty said hi, Max, from Maryland. Hi, from Maryland. Thanks for watching today. Tonya said, no, it, doesn't, it does not notify me of lives on IG, and I checked my settings, it's set to allow him. So we have just a little bit on camera. Sorry. Kia Ora from New Zealand. Kia Ora. So if we're off camera, let me know, and we'll move the camera instead of moving you moving, so that way it's more comfortable for me. Because I feel like usually when we film, it's like we have to we're so focus on sitting on camera. It's so uncomfortable for me, and that's when my shoulders are really killing me. We're at 70, so we're so close to a live giveaway. And the winner we always announce at the end of the video, so make sure you like and share this video. Post it in your favorite nail group, and we're gonna give away a little prize today. Debbie Robinson said, I got my white and gold stickers today and some other ones. So excited to dupe the Manny you did the other night with. Bye bye. Yeah. The plumping Manny. Can you hook me up? <laughs> huh? <laughs> hook me <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. Jackie Feliciano said, Hi, Max. Hi. From Milan. Michigan. Hi from the I thought she was gonna be like Milan, oh, yeah. Italy. I was like, ooh, girl, send me a bag. Antonio said, "We're close, but I don't know. How are we now, Antonio?" Ashley Lawrence said, "Hi from Puerto Rico." Hi from Puerto Rico. You are pretty high on the camera. I think we're better now. I love watching the Nail King Sister Skills. Love your product. Thank you. Hola, hola. Get that little flyway right there. We're at 55. We're halfway there, so we went down. We go up and down, up and down. Now let's do 
one coat of nail prep and one coat of primer. And I already, luckily, know the sizes of her nails. <laughs> With the other hand, so it'll be faster. Okay, so we're good now. Not blurry, but when you style, it's blurry. Yeah, like it's a stupid um, auto focus. And as you guys can see, Nicole, she had some issues when she was doing her stunts. Don't blame Max, it's all me. My nails are just terrible. I came for safety. She's like, snatch me up, Max. Oh, 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 Max.
pistachio or shell like a tumor or something. It's not. <laughs> it's not the best look, but that's what they like over there. Angela Helmy said hello, Max Darling. Hi, sweetie. And remember, leave a little bit of space at that cuticle area. I don't know. Contact Eno Couture Australia and they'll be able to better assist you than I would because I don't manage any of the stock in Australia or I don't know what goes on down there. Yeah, yeah and she'll be more than happy. In Melanie Crow is incredible, so. They'll be able to better assist you than me. And the nice thing about DIY gel is it also has the, um, the bottleneck. So that way you can. So, just, so this is, because this is the first I'm seeing it with this set, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've just seen your bottle. Press on gel. Yeah. So this is like her cousin. Okay, okay. And if you do your own nails, it's really cool because it actually stays in place. Uh -huh. okay. But I have the bad habit, well I wouldn't call it necessarily a bad habit, but I have the habit of holding down the nail and then freezing it. So, uh -huh. but you don't necessarily have to do that with DIY job. Gotcha. Chucky Rusky said, can't wait to use DIY gel with my multiple sclerosis. It'll make it a lot easier to help everything in place. I hate mm -hmm. it. You'll just have to use a little bit more elbow grease to uh, squeeze it out, but you'll love it. Also, you guys, don't forget that giveaway. I see 69 views. We're so close. Tell the views on this. Because of the, all the Instagram yeah, messages. he's just so popular. Nicole is like, popular. Goodness. That's why they call it the body. <laughs> I think Megan Thee Stallion wrote the song about you, didn't she? <laughs> she did. How does it go? No, 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 tiny waist. No, 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 no. Body, honey, honey, honey. Had to teach the dance moves. Really? Yeah. And what's the other one? I'm a savage. Classic, Gucci, ranch. Does that song have a da little dance to it? It does. Really? It does. Yep. What about Doja Cat? Whatever happened to her? I love her. She's, She's still done. around? Yeah. Have any songs that yeah, have been? Streets, weird streets. Nope. So good. Really? So good. Yeah. Is it kind of like uh, Say So? Uh, kind of. So Say So's more like a beat. It's more like I want to say like a love song, but not really. Like it's, it's slower. Really? Yeah. A little R and B. Yeah. For the girls. It's really good. What about Gwen Stefani's new song? The one with Sweetie. Mm hmm. I haven't really heard it. I just kind of see like a little snippet. Mm -hmm. So I, could, I can't really judge too well. I haven't heard it yet, but I was watching something about like, you know, the snowflakes coming for Gwen Stefani, and I was like, oh my gosh. If they are coming for Gwen Stefani, they really need. I heard they were coming for Sweetie because she was switching up her, her normal raps, I guess, to do this song with Gwen Stefani. Really? Yeah, and they were like, she's kind of like a traitor. They were saying that Gwen Stefani was doing cultural appropriation and that she was um, she, that she was too old to be like in a high school for the video. You're kidding. Somebody here? Oh. And I was like, really? Gwen Stefani? Really? That's what she built her career out of. Come on, girls. Pink Army, come through. <laughs> I see Chani's here. We're at 72. We're about 27, 28 people away from a giveaway. Come on, you guys, let's reach 100. Hello, come here from Deutschland? Deutschland? Deutschland, guten tag. Elizabeth Ginn said, hi, I miss you. I miss you too. So now we're gonna bake her for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. Does your existing Suki work with DIY gel? Yes, but the Suki is a lot bigger than the DIY gel. Antonio Kibita said, no one remember Aerosmith and Red DMC? Walk this way, <laughs> walk this way. I don't see anything wrong with. I mean, it's people that have nothing better to do. Yeah, they have the same wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, if you're so pressed about, you know, Sweetie and Gwen Stefani, it's like you need to go, like, edu go educate yourself. Yeah. Go, go volunteer or something. Go read a book. 
Gwen Stefani is not doing cultural appropriation. She is embracing and it's fashion. Get what you feel. You know what I mean? Do the girls know? Going up and down, up and down. We're so close to the giveaway, you guys. We can do it. I have a feeling. Thank you. Enocouture.com, Dazzling Darling Lamp. Available now. Jasmine, I have to get that new press on glue. Press on uh, the DIY gel. She is a new bottom chick. Angela Stevens Smith, the primer. Hi, sweetie. Thanks for joining us today. We got snow on Rhode Island today. I don't know if it's spring or winter again. Wow, I'm so jealous of you right now. You have no idea. Dude, you really rather it be cold? Yes, of course. Because if you're cold, it's easier to like warm up than if it's hot yeah. and you're like, ugh. Yeah, no, I agree. And when you're cold, you don't sweat. It's not humid. You don't got little gnats flying around. <laughs> They're all dead because it's so cold. Antonio Bugino said, Ask Metallica and Slayer, who one of their biggest lyrical influences were, and they will say Duran Duran. Duran Duran. <laughs> and they're still around, Simon Le Bon. That's such a cool name, huh? Who? Simon Le Bon. That is. You don't know who Simon Le Bon is? I don't. He's from Duran Duran, he's the lead singer. Oh, okay. No, I don't know why his name's right. You know Duran Duran, I never know them that closely. My name is. No, her name was me. Dance is on the sand. And so it's cultural appropriation. It's broadening your house. That's right. Yeah, how boring would it be just you know, do the same thing every day? And it's fashion too. I mean if she wants to dress up like a Japanese girl, a school girl, what's stopping her? There's nothing wrong with that. I should be receiving my Dublin Garden any day now. I'm so excited. You're gonna love it. We are doing the fantasy today. You want to show them Nicole? This is the fantasy. A little bit closer, close towards me. This is the fantasy today, you guys. Look at that. It's Le Bon, no D. Oh. <laughs> Simon Le Bon. Made him sound like Mr. Bond, James Bond. Oh, are you going to London for um, Princess Philip's funeral? I feel like it would only be right. Yeah, because you spent so much time in London when you were filming the Batman yeah. with Robert Patterson. Yeah. Such a sad, but... Such a sad thing, but, you know... It was like a hundred. Yeah, we all knew it was going to happen. It was going to happen. Poor Prince Philip made rest in peace. And then people were like, how come he wasn't King Philip? Because he wasn't born a king, children. Is that what it is? Yes, you have to be born into royalty. You can't marry into it. So, like, the princes, they'll forever be princes. And same thing yeah. with their kids. And... Their kids are royalty, but their, like, spouses are not. Mm -hmm. Or they get those titles but as a courtesy. Like, Kate Middleton is... Yeah. And what's the other one? Oh, no, Meghan Markle, she gave up her title. Yeah. But Meghan Markle, we're not going to talk about that on this channel. <laughs> that is very interesting to you. Another day, another dollar with Meghan Markle. I heard she hasn't talked to her dad like in 20 years. Really? Well, not in 20 years, but like so a long like time. A long time. Yeah. John Everly said, Hi Max, I love your products so much. I have a car full of stuff waiting to order. I have to wait until after June 5th because my husband said I can't order any more until after my anniversary. Why? No, don't <laughs> listen to him. Use Afterpay or Klarna. He won't know. <laughs> Greta A. Power says, so Got my order with DIY gel. And my only regret is not ordering multiple bottles. Gotta get more. Gotta catch them all. So I'm using the Diamond Manny to really go in and blend in that cuticle area. Get her nice and snatched for the children. Yeah, because I mean... In my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, Megan was like, you know, she made everything about her and race and this and that, you know. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, from, you know, from my humble opinion and from what I know about the royal family, mm -hmm. and from, you know, prior experiences with other women in the royal family, it, I mean, they treat all of them pretty much the same way. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Fergie, mm -hmm. the Duchess of York, mm -hmm. she was like, she, she can't even talk about the queen. Like in negative. Like if they ask her a question, she can't talk about the queen. 
just not allowed. Yeah. But is that like a law kind of thing? Like she's well, I'm pretty sure before you marry into like the British royalty, you gotta sign some papers. Gotcha. Okay. And one of them, they had her killed. They had Kanga killed. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. They That's killed so Kanga. Crazy. They threw her out of a window. I still have not looked any of that up. Like I really want to go on YouTube and just watch all the crazy stuff about that. So Meghan Markle better, you know, read about Kanga. <laughs> watch your back. Yeah, and they called her Kanga because she was from Australia, so Kangaroo. Mm -hmm. Poor Kanga. Oh, wow. Antonio said, in fact, though, Duran did the most successful James Bond theme ever. <laughs> a look to kill, or a view to kill, I can't remember. Jackie Rusky said, oops, sorry, fingers are not master skills. No, sister, my fingers have a mind of their own. Sorry, I just saw my typo. Okay, no, I don't. That's okay. Thank you. We're gonna use again diamond prep, and this is gonna really blend in and just make it so soft and seamless. Go in and very, very gently blend in that dry, non living tissue and the phalange. And look at that, you guys. So airbrushed. Focus. If the camera will ever focus, there we go. And Tony said, No, Prince William will become King William once he reaches him. Princesses or yes. Like Prince Philip was, I think he's something about Greek royalty, but um, he got the title prince, that's why, because he married the queen. And I guess they were together since she was like 17 and he was like 21. Oh, really? Yeah, so the queen's in her 90s, and I think, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's definitely up there. I like the conspiracy theories that the queen is a, like a reptilian. <laughs> So like you hear that about so many people. That the reptilians. Yeah. And I heard the Queen didn't like Princess Diana either. Yeah, I've heard all that. I personally don't think that Princess Diana was that pretty. Like people were like, oh my god, she was so beautiful. And I was like, really? I mean she was a nice person, but like, I mean, beauty wise. <laughs> and I haven't seen Nicole Rodriguez. Like, there you go. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> or poor Fergie. They said she says that they ridiculed her a lot because of her weight. Oh, really? Yeah, because, I mean, you should see her wedding picture. Poor Fergie. Her uh, wedding dress was not flattering. Let's just say that. Really? Yeah. See, this is all, like, very interesting. Oh, my gosh. And her daughters look like um, Cinderella's evil stepsisters. Yeah, you were telling me that. Yes. <laughs> Eugene, I think, is one of their names. Oh, my gosh. It fits. <laughs> Princess Eugene. So, now let's go in with... Our smoothie buffer. Any that oh, no, purple buffer, I'm sorry. Hi, sweetie. She said, this is my Aurora Inks, love them so much. Aren't they magic? John Everly said, I'm great pronouncing my last name, and you don't know how many people pronounce it wrong. Well, I'm happy that I'm able to do so, because it doesn't happen with everyone. Oh. Bottom chick status right there. But she said she has to she has to wait for getting her stuff because he's the one paying for it. Oh. So she has to wait for after. Boo. <laughs> William Drew said hi Max. Hi sweetie. And Tony said, you know, they met when she was 13 and he was 19, I think. Yeah, like a long time. That's crazy. Can you know Willen Weaver? My English is unfortunately not that good, Max, but I always like to watch you. I love your comments. Oh, thank you. Can you imagine if we would have had like a hundred year like celebration? <laughs> what do you die of? I don't know. I would. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that, like a specific. You know, mm -hmm. maybe it's just like natural causes. Well, I'm pretty sure when you're that age, <laughs> it's coming for you. Denny Meyer said, Max OMG, I love your honesty. Rosemary Rivera said, Hola. Hola, hola. So I'm taking a little bit of primer around the cuticle here. Modesty about what? The Princess Eugene? Yeah. She d I think she does. And the other one too. They really do. They'd be perfect for like a live action Cinderella. <laughs> and they probably are just as mean too. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Let's get our tweezers and begin the snatching, children.
But you know who I really like? Do you know who I really like? I am obsessed with. Who? Oh my gosh. And she she looks like a horse, speaking oh. of unicorns. Who? Um what's her name? Camilla Parker! Who is that? She really does look like a horse. <laughs> No, but I'm going to go to the it's a point. Press the number four if you think Camilla Parker looks <laughs> like a horse. I'm going to start leaving the horse emojis. <laughs> but that is Prince William. Uh, uh, what's the dad's name? It's not Prince William, is it? It's. No, what the heck is his name? Prince Charles. There you go. That's his bottom chick. That's his ride or die. Camilla? Camilla Parker. Oh, goodness. She's a real bottom chick. <laughs> Everybody's getting bored. Really? <laughs> but she's so interesting, though. And she loves old people. <laughs> Katrina just keeps been over and over. Um, Jackie Ruski says she matches Prince Charles all the while. They kind of do look like each other, too. Nancy Manny said, are you going to file the numbers off this tip? No. I think they kind of look like each other. <laughs> but I don't think Prince Charles was that ugly when he was young. He was very interesting looking. And he had a really nice body too. He was very really? athletic. They really like put yeah. him to do a lot of sports and things like that. I don't think I've ever like seen any or cared to even look into his pictures being young. Really? Yeah. I never thought Prince William was so scary where that... No. I mean, I. For a royal, maybe. <laughs> the four is what are coming in. Now. Really? <laughs> Jeez, they really don't like Camilla Parker. But she's a bottom chick, though. She's a ride or die. <laughs> don't you said Camilla looks like a horse with hemorrhoids? <laughs> and she's had a work done already, too. Oh, goodness. But I don't know, a lot of people in England are not big fans of the Royals. Really? Mm-hmm. It's just more hype here, like... Maybe. Maybe, like, to make us think that that's the case. But, I mean, look at the Parker, though. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Bottom chick. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, how can Prince William, uh, Prince Charles, like, you know, when he has such a beautiful wife? They're like, how could he, like, cheat on him, on Diana with... Camilla Parker, but you know, you like what you like. <laughs> Jackie was at the bottom of the barrel shake, huh? Maybe <laughs> genetics are too close. Maybe. Goodness. <laughs> you said you like what you like. <laughs> That's terrible. What? You said you like what you like. It is what it is. <laughs> That's true. That's how we roll. That's how the royals roll. Sue's here. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. Sue we all have our bottom chicks. <laughs> we all have our Camilla Parkers. <laughs> Tongue, you said, do not knock Diana. I am a total. Hold on, where did it go? I am a total anglophile, 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 and I adore her. What's that? I don't. I'm probably not reading your word right. Sue Cook says, "See, told you I was going to jump on Facebook." Did you ever see the movie uh, about Princess Diana's life, played by who was it? Kate Blanchett. That movie got a lot of hate, but I thought it was interesting. It, mm -hmm. it painted Diana in a very different picture. Mm -hmm. It painted her as somebody that really wanted someone to love her. Like she was very... Oh, really? Yeah, like she was very wanting to someone to love her, I think. Which is, I mean, it could have been quite too, because the whole time that, you know, when she was with Prince Charles, he was, you know, with his bottom chick. Mm. 
Alejandro Granado that he might have you seen the Netflix and on Netflix The Crown? No, but I've heard of it. I actually canceled my Netflix subscription. Did you really? I didn't cancel it. I just never. Um, I uh, I changed cards, and I, I never. Just left it. Yeah. I was That's like, it. yeah, it's not that serious. <laughs> Nancy Manning said, "Love the roses." Alejandro Coronado said, "It talks about how it talks about them, how they meet, and everything." Jackie Rusky said, "Buy a lateral brown paper bag and lights off." <laughs> LOL. No, not what Prince Charles uh, told her. And Tony said, "I said it correctly." She said, "It means that she supports the British." Oh. Well, I support them too. Miss Camilla Parker. <laughs> I love her. There's just something about her that's very interesting. It just pulls you in. Yeah. Denny Myers said, I'm digging these stickers, though. I can't do nail art for, for a crash. They mm -hmm. would come in handy for real. For real. You're going to love them. Bottom chicks. That's right. Some of the Parkers. Sue Cook said, She was told by Charles that it wasn't really a love marriage, but duty bound. Mm -hmm. He told her he loved Camilla. That's right, bottom wow, chick. He loved his bottom chick. I get it, it's just sad. I mean, but, I don't know if she even really cares that much, to be honest. No, probably not. Because um, she had affairs too when they were married. Oh, really? Yeah, for sure. The rumor is that Prince Char... Uh, oh, yeah. Harry is not his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's the bodyguards. Oh, wow. Remember our stickers, you guys, you can layer them too on top of each other. They don't. The world and, yeah, like... They're not the richest monarchy in the world. Really? Mm -mm. Do you know what the richest monarchy in the world is? Thailand. Oh, okay. Really? Yes. Wow, okay. Thailand has the richest monarchy mm -hmm. in the world, and that is pretty much all I will say on that, because if you speak ill of the king in Thailand, you will die. Okay. Or they won't let me into the country. It's really strict. It is against the law to say anything ill of the king in Thailand. So I will say, long live the king of Thailand. <laughs> and all of his bottom chicks. Because he is famous for having a lot of them at the same time. Sue Cook said, Oh, that I hadn't heard. What? She said, He doesn't look like Charles at all. Yeah. That's why they also kind of like treat him like. Antonia said, Harry is his. Charles is just jealous that his sons are much better looking than he is. I don't think Charles was that <laughs> bad looking when he was young. I mean, I can understand the Harry situation. Like, the super red hair. Like, it's just, I don't and know. And nobody in the monarchy has red hair. Yeah, it was just off. The drop, the tea. How old were they when their mother died? Was Were they pretty young? Yeah, for sure. I, re I remember that. Remember, like seeing it on the TV, all of the new, all over the news. I was like super young. It was everywhere. Diana. Very tragic. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Irene said the red hair came came from Diana's side of the family. That's why I said nobody in the monarchy had red hair. So is Prince Philip, was he Charles' dad? Oh, I don't know. I would think so, huh? Yeah. And so when you said red hair is the dominant recessive gene, someone in their family had it and it passed on to Harry. Queen Elizabeth's father had red hair as well. Really? Was he king though? I don't think so actually. Don't quote me on that one though. Sue said I had a thing for Charles for Charles when I was young. Yeah, I don't think he was that bad looking. 
Denny Myers in history while doing nails. Does it get any better than this? I know, it's so random. <laughs> but I'm so glad that, you know, we we're able to talk about it in, like, respectfully. See, we have to address this with five-star nails. Does those look thin? Does she ever break them? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> They just, you know, as just, soon as... They just sidewalk out and they're just... They're just gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, it's just a horrible... <laughs> yeah. We're just, we're just like, I like wasting your time. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I just realized that the little bears are boys and girls. Oh, <laughs> you just realized that? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're male and female. Soup said in his flight suit. Ooh la la. <laughs> want to meet Camilla Parker <laughs> and be like girl you you got something on you she got that good good oh god <laughs> what's so funny no it's true she knows about how to make the boys uh she does <laughs> so good. So good that, I, that would be the last thing I say Nicole and Max what? Ooh, la, la, <laughs> <laughs> I would say Camilla, you know uh, how to make them boys uh, come to the yard. The, her, milkshake. <laughs> her milkshake. Camilla <laughs> Parker's milkshake. Greta Power, she was asking a question about breaking the nails. She said she got her nails stuck in a bench press and they didn't even crack. That'll tell you right there. Bottom chip. <laughs> And I think they can only wear British clothing. Really? Mm -hmm. It's just like little, little laws, or not laws, but rules that they have to abide by. Tony's an IT first and third grade. They don't break. There you go. <laughs> and Nicole is, she does her own stunts when she films, so That's right. they don't go anywhere, children. going up and down we're so close come on come on come on we want to give something away you guys it says teddy on there so cute for the girls. <laughs> there you go. Sue said, be right back. Gonna go and grow some flowers so we can win something. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want that win that prize. That prize is mine. Actually, want to go to the movies and go see Mortal Kombat when that comes out. I think that'd be fun to watch it on. Yeah, instead of like. On your phone, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Catalina Smith said, 47 people watch you now, I see. Let's get up to 100. If we get to 100, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. Sure, sure, sure. Boom. Flowers. Just like boom. Snatch and other phalanges. Just a little flower here, flower action realness. I think that's awesome. Antonio said last weekend I did a Zoom video with my youngest nephew. We watched Godzilla vs. Kong together. That's, how, that's really cute. How was that? Oh, yeah, how was the movie? With Danny Meyer said laying in my bed and not moving all while planning colors for, for my Manny Tom. Tomorrow. For my Manny tomorrow. For her snatch and other phalanges. There you go. Danielle Clark said it's an anime. Oh. Very big in Japan right now. Demon Slayer. For the children. <laughs> I was trying since yesterday, sorry, sorry, to buy tickets for Disneyland because I want to go on my birthday. I think that'd be so much fun. So, what did you say the wait was? Seven hours. <laughs> so, and then my you, birthday so falls. online? Yeah. So you just have to like wait by the. Yeah, it makes no sense. Hours? Yeah. Oh, wow. Antonio said, Well, I'm a huge Godzilla fan, so I am very picky. It was amazing. It's not the first time they have a Godzilla versus King Kong movie, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't really see much of that. You're not a Godzilla girl? Yeah. I mean, I'll watch it. There's nothing wrong with it. Sukuk said, you are all the excitement of my night. That sounds fun, Antonia. That's all you need. Credit Power said, I thought the new Mortal Kombat movie releases today. I thought so too, but it releases on the 27th or 26th, 26th of this month. They pushed it back. Antonia said, no, they've had many. Versus King Kong? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah, I was going to say. Sue said, you could have hired someone to sit there for you, Max, LOL. Sit for me what? Where? And Tony said, but this was just so, so good. I would assume, I would, I would have thought the movie would have been alright, too, just because it's like new age, it's everything in the movie itself. I would have thought it just looked like a giant video game. <laughs> really? Yeah, because that's what most movies look like nowadays. <laughs> no, Nicole is actually my all-time favorite. Princess Katana. Oh, please, if you do the two, <laughs> if you get some tickets, <laughs> You're not gonna put nobody send me a DM, I will, hours? if send me a message on Messenger, I will reply. <laughs> and so I guess, and you have to know the history to follow this one and have seen the previous one. Okay. So that means we would be lost. Yeah. Your scene. Did you see it? Yes. What do you think? I can't wait to see you in space. 
Really? Are they, are they gonna make more or are they pretty much done now? So we know they're done, but that's what they said for moving it up. Yeah. Can and they just keep else? on. Do you think it's like being a little exploited now? A little bit. The series? A little bit, yeah. Are you done with it? I think so. I got my taste. You're like, I'm good now. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Jeff, my notifications are not sounding off for your videos. I have to figure this out. Look at that one right there. That's sick. <laughs> Do you like this movie? No. No? Really? Mm hmm. Do you like any anime? Mm-mm. Do you like any, like, it's a cartoon, but, you know, that type of show, the movies? I'm a hundred and some years old, I don't know. <laughs> Do you like Magic School Bunch? Now? <laughs> it's, well, it's not just like... I don't have Netflix, old. remember? I know, I know. It's a Netflix. Really? Yeah. I was getting Isabella into it. Come on and ride on the magic school bus. Actually, I take that back. I do like some adult animation. I every once in a while I do like Bob's Burgers. Okay. But I, sometimes it can be a little. Eh. Yeah. It's a hit or miss that one. That's true. Mm, other ones a lot. The Simpsons. I love the old Simpsons. The new Simpsons is okay. It's a little bit too woke. A little bit too snowflake for me. But I do love the Simpsons when Conan O'Brien was the producer of it. I mean, those are classics. <laughs> that was like at the height of their. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's because Princess Katana is not in the movie. Exactly. Just reference. Yeah. Oh, but we just gave it away. <laughs> Sorry. So the new project to talk about We're talking. That's it. I've been pretty busy. I mean, I mean, one movie is going to take some time for me. Yeah, it's a process. Trust the process, Nicole. I do like some. <laughs> I actually like watching political stuff. Like my mom's like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, um, "Is it like interesting to you though?" Like, are yeah, you I like, love politics. Really, like we're getting like, soaking everything in. Yeah. I mean, and I like reading the comments too, those are hilarious. <laughs> Especially like, um, I know for a long time that since the, uh, the, um, the presidential uh, election, the race, mm -hmm. that um, they, there was a, a conspiracy about you know, wanting to pack the Supreme Court. And then it came out yesterday that the, the House wants to pass a bill to add four more seats to the Supreme Court. Okay. Even because they're like, oh, you know, uh, different reasons or whatever that oh you know the, there's more people in America or this or that but it's been the same since like 1846 oh wow and even Ruth Bader Ginsburg which is a huge um, very liberal Supreme Court she was like don't add more than nine because if you add more than nine then it politicizes it, the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court is neither uh, politically affiliated it, 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 they go by the Constitution okay. so it's very interesting and I like how they don't show to each other. It's like very like white glove. Really? Yeah. So now we're gonna go in with a coat of press on gel, and this is going to begin the encapsulation of the phalanges. This one is not enough. I'll make sure her help you see with the movies that I'm watching. Huh. <laughs> Jenny Meyer said, "I'm all about reality TV. That's all I watch. All the while. You know what I just watched yesterday? What? I, I think you'll know exactly. So, do you remember Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop? No. Yes! Stripper, no, 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 I'm sorry, I don't. Stripper, Stevie J's, like a producer, like Stripper from the Strip Club, the Mosey Days, the Bell Strip Club. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. 
I never saw Love Interest. I did see Basketball Wife and I did see uh, oh, The Real Housewives. Shout out to the that I used to watch too. Is that the one with Mama D? Yes, but that's a different Oh, one. she was like, this is my house, my kingdom. Do you remember like Mimi or uh, Rashida? No, they kind of sound familiar, but... Well, she got like her own show now, and, and she's like making her own strip club and like bringing like auditioning girls wow. to her strip club. In what like, city? I don't even know where it is. No, Miami. It's Miami. Miami? Yeah. Yeah, it's called Jocelyn's Cabaret. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that this is on. But like, I can't believe this is real. <laughs> I got so pulled in yesterday. I can't believe you don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like that's something that would be cute about, like, oh, I remember her. I know, I've heard P-Town is really good, I've never seen that. Pose, I've heard, is really good, I've never seen that. No, no, no. But I used to like um, Bravo reality shows mm-hmm. back in the day. Bear Downward Spiral, though. But I did get into The Real Hustles of Dallas, though. That's newer, right? Yes. And I got into that because uh, I think the girls already kind of know that I want to relocate there. The <laughs> busy. Was it a big difference between H-Town? Oh, yeah. Night and day. Really? Yeah. How far is it from each other? Uh, we flew. From city to city? Yeah. You're no, Texas is huge. Oh, wow. Okay. Texas is the size of Germany. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. And France. I mean, I know it's big, but I didn't know that. Everything's bigger in Texas. Wow. So you're like, I don't even know. But I started watching The Real Houses of Dallas because I was like, I need to find out what the tea is up in Dallas. They were like, oh, you know, if you don't live in Highland Park, you can't hang out with us. And I was like, sign me up for Highland Park. And I mean, it really is beautiful. Really? Yeah, Highland Park, because like all the houses look like little castles. Oh, that's nice. And like, for what they cost, I mean, it's like, whoa. You can get you a really nice house in Texas for like 300000 mm-hmm. For here, for 300000 you probably can't get a house anymore. <laughs> Did you watch any of the Chicago Med Fire PD and such? No, I used to like Mob Wife Chicago, that was good. I used to really be into First 48. Really? Like it's still really like it's still good. I just lost myself into It just wasn't what it was. Yeah, because I was like like they did it here a few times. It wasn't it was exciting really anymore. anymore. Lost its Jenny Sequoia. Jenny Myers, the Bravo Channel, We TV, and TV. She's like, those are my channels. Look <laughs> at that, you guys. That glitter just lays like butter. Antonia said, it is true that at one point you could fit every person in America in Texas, but not anymore. Not anymore? I think so. Wow, that's how big Texas is. Mary said, Texas is very big. I used to live in Fort Worth and had to drive eight hours to visit my parents in Laredo. Wow. That's, that's a trip. Now I know why you flew Max. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, you know, we'll drive. And we were like, well, we don't know the, the state or anything like that. But they have a really good, like, their speed limit's like 80, I want to say. Oh, wow. Yeah, so if you're on the freeway and you're going like 75 miles an hour and the car's not in the best thing, best condition, you can feel it. be boring I think don't you <laughs> I I think I'm a very boring person I think I'm a very boring and plain person make sure all that glitter is to the sides and we're gonna freeze her for a few seconds Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, you know, you're watching TV and you just go into a downward spiral of nothing. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Mine is pink, black, and purple. Mine is red and gold. Those are pretty colors. Antonio said, Lord help me, my things are growing. Why? What happened? 
This looks like so pretty. Danielle Fox and I have been watching Married at First Sight Australia Super Guilty Pleasure. Oh, I, there's a show. I've seen clips of it only. I think it's called First Date. It's a British show or Irish. And they have like these couples meet in restaurants and things like that. It is so good. Antonia so says, if, you keep, if you're keeping the height, Max, you need a back and camera elevator. You're wearing. I'm oh, sorry. Night Watch in New Orleans is awesome. No one wears that much Gucci and makeup is boring. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't wear that much makeup actually. I think that's a misconception. I think you see comments that are, I don't know, I don't know. I do wear makeup, but I think because I have good skin, it looks like I wear more because it looks so smooth. Mm. To not toot my own horn. <laughs> <laughs> They really did close down the beauty salons and things like that. They did for a while. Yeah. And then when month, they closed them, days. yeah, when they closed them down, people were like, "Oh my God!" What am I? They were like, what at we first they were like, "Yeah," they were like, "Close us down." And then when they closed them down, they're like, "No, open us back up." Homeboy Juicy. Yeah, his wife. Salon. Yes. Um, not necessarily because I feel like with the regulations that they put in for salons at that time, it was like a very safe practice, yeah. more or less. And I mean, it's a huge livelihood for so many people as well, too. Yeah, no, you're right. Jackie Rusty said, I am an Alaskan show junkie, beautiful place, but too darn cold. So quick said, your skin looks really good, wowza, it's your lip oil that everyone wants. That lip oil, she said. No, we zoom, but now it's whole classroom in person and on Zoom for more kids at the same time. Okay. I don't even have Zoom. I never got to experience that during the the drone yeah. apocalypse. <laughs> really? Oh my god! And then it's stuck. Yeah. And then they can like screenshot it and send it to you. <laughs> But it's not the best. Oh 
Fix Nash. Still toning out the orange. Oh. That is legit. That's a. She was going through the gigs with that one. I think everybody kind of went through their own, their own stress of this. I think God, my mom does mine. Oh, I would have not. Yeah. I would have not gone on camera without being toned. Go to certain like different countries, but you're just gonna, you know, be stuck in a hotel room for two weeks. Jackie Rusty said, "I have so many drug allergies. Not taking a chance. Yeah, not taking a chance. Mask and face shields forever, I guess." You have glitter on your own thumb, Max. I know. <laughs> Diarrhea? That's, that's not that bad though. then. I feel like that's rough though. I feel like, I mean, with any vaccine you're gonna most likely get this. So, but I don't know. I actually want to get a food shop for the cat, cat allergies. I wonder if they have those. For the cat allergies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the cat allergies, so I won't have to be allergic to my cat. They just make me ugh, itchy. Like and a not a flu shot, I'm sorry. Allergy <laughs> shot. <laughs> sorry, like, sorry, sorry. What? You're like, Max, what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I think they want, to, they want me to do allergy testing because my allergies have just been like so all over the place. Really? Yeah, it's insane. And then now, how anywhere you can like sample or cough or anything with somebody, someone else would be looking at you really crazy. 
phone a call. Yeah, I didn't even visit. January 7th, 35, with recent diagnosis of heart failure. Started new medication that I'm on for the rest of my life. Haven't had the vaccine, I'm scared. Unless you're teaching when it hits. No, I understand the diarrhea. <laughs> 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 so you said it caused blood clots in men too. It's pretty scary. Yeah, I, for sure. You, I don't know. you go in for one thing and you come up with another. This is probably going to not matter, but um, in my opinion, like, have you ever seen really much? Movies? Not recently. Like I Am Legend? Yes. You've seen that? Mm -hmm. Let's make that 30 seconds. That's what I think of. That's what I think of. Vast empty spaces. Huh? Vast empty spaces. What's that? What do you mean, vast empty spaces? Isn't that what like I Am Legend is about? Like zombie apocalypse? It's about people like supposedly got cured from cancer doing all this, this certain treatment and everybody was cured and then like a year later everybody was off. Really? Yes. Oh my god. It scares the crap out of me. I know it's a movie, guys, but come on. <laughs> You're like gonna live the real deal now. So quick to the death was near happen? our town. We're gonna do one more coat of clear pressing gel on the top of the flange. Encapsulate the glitter and smooth everything out. Maybe tomorrow. We're very in and out. The, but the rider dies state. The rider dies are here. <laughs> That's how they roll. They don't disappoint. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that press on gel. It's really nice and even over the entire phalange and smooth everything out. <laughs> Holy cow, Nicole. I don't want to become a zombie, lol. Too late. In the Denner Sims, I was a zombie. <laughs> algorithm <laughs> a lot of people say that they don't get notifications yeah i don't understand that but I, i'm the same there's some that i do get some i don't i don't understand it's like facebook is out for it's me it's like overload maybe like they're hitting everybody at once i don't know Freda said love the effect layer love the effect layering it's called that plump and gel manicure So 
sure we get those edges though so that way it's nice and smooth and even. Jenny said we did it. We definitely had the best time conversating, conver conversating and watching Max do his thing, and the nails are beautiful as always. Let's go ahead and break that 30 seconds. My little Monito. <laughs> I'm going to put shiny gel over the entire phalange. Super excited Facebook is playing games with the most popular lives. For reals, I see some people, I'm like, they have so many views, really? Surprise. Almost done. We're gonna put our last coat of shiny, and then she'll be all set. She'll be ready to hit that pole. Line. So a nice even coat of shiny over the entire phalange. Smooth everything out. Make sure you get all those edges, all those corners. focuses and then you can't see the design. Thank you. Qué amable. Madre, the nails look nice. Who said love the unicorn sticker? Around the sticker, around the glitter, around the sequence, around Prisma, around Trick, everything shrink wrapped. <laughs> have you seen that already? I have not. Or is it coming to America, right? Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't look. I don't know. I don't think I was much of a fan of it when it began, like when it came out a long time ago. So the first one. Yeah. Before we cure, let's wipe this side. Make sure there's no excess. So, so what can I say? I was a little, My Little Pony fan. These are very My Little Pony. <laughs> and Tony said my daughter's a huge fan, and she's 24. <laughs> so the this design is right up their alleys. Let's go ahead and bake it for one minute, and then we're almost done. A little gel on my fingers, but that's what the hand sanitizer is for. She does everything. That hand sanitizer. That's pretty perfect. Incredible, you guys. And super affordable, too. It's only $9.99. I should have stood on the street when hand sanitizer was like going, uh, like sold out, remember? Last yes. year? So, a hand sanitizer and toilet paper? Yes. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, oodles and noodles. There was, yeah, no ramen anywhere. There still really is like no ramen anywhere. Really? <laughs> People are still really on that. Mm -hmm. Love their ramen. Oh my god. And it's so <laughs> bad for you. So much sodium. Oh, I know. And the one that's low sodium tastes disgusting. I've never had that one. Low sodium ramen? Ugh. The flavor of it is just not good? Yeah, there's nothing there. You need that sodium. To make sure they're completely dry. Do that thumb just a little bit longer. Oh, they can't see the uh, 
Sorry, sorry. The new <laughs> prototype. Sweet dreams, Michael. I'm going to say no. I'll see you tomorrow online and in a new video. Thank you, Mama. Madalena said, Yeah, sweet dreams. Antonia said, Only the packet is bad for you. The noodles are healthy. Really? But it's carbs. Oh, we're out of camera, so. All the chemicals in it. Yeah. I don't think they're even real noodles. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> I heard like your digestive system doesn't even really know what to do with that. I remember the you remember that they would stay in your stomach for like God knows how many yeah. years. <laughs> well, Coca Cola is really bad for you, isn't it? Like all sodas. Coca Cola. Coca Cola and Pepsi. Uh, like if you put a chicken bone inside Coca Cola, it yeah. dissolves it. They say like use Coca Cola on like your something, something with your battery for your car because it like eats the eats acid. Eats the acid. Yeah, it eats the acid. crazy, huh? Super healthy. <laughs> Extra Coca Cola. Gosh, I wish I'd put that to fat. <laughs> right? I've been chugging them cokes like nobody's business. <laughs> Tony said all noodles are carbs, but ramen is only bad if you add the package. So if you give it flavor. If you make it taste good, it's bad for you. <laughs> that does. I swear, I'm going to have to get YouTube Premium to not have any more ads. <laughs> it's funny because you were definitely not that one. I know, but now I have like no choice. It's so annoying. You can get, yeah, I guess YouTube, but there's there's a YouTube Music. But don't you have to pay for that too? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's less or the same, but I know that that's just all music, and then you don't have to wait. And there we have it, you guys. Look at that. My Little Pony Candy Realness Nails with unicorns and teddy bears. And butterflies. And that plumping technique, look how cool it makes the stickers look like. They literally just melt into the nail. A little bit of hard light in here for Miss Nicole. Oof, look at that, you guys. She is serving it. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the universe. Stay safe, you guys, and I will see you in the next live. Bye, everybody.